Hello, I'm Arlen Del Greco, and we are inside the facility at the Bay Rivers Art Guild in Daphne, Alabama. I'm a member here. I do some teaching here. The production of, of paintings should be a joyful process, and I'm trying to make it that way. A lot of the things I've learned over the years when I've been in different areas of the country and involved in, in uh, art centers here and there and taken classes, some by very well-known people, I kind of got tired of all the rules and I wanted to break free. So I recently discovered this paper called UPO, which is a synthetic paper developed for uh, commercial art, uh, outdoor art. And it has some unique properties. I use watercolor on this, but in very unique ways. It can be scrubbed back to the pure white paper without any damage to the paper, and you can start all over again. So today, I thought maybe I might, might want to share with you some of the uh, materials that I use, uh, some of the processes and tell you something about the paper and what it can do. So if you'll just walk over here with me. Uh, I thought maybe I'd take some, a few moments here to show you something about the materials that I use. This is the UPO paper. As I said, it's synthetic and it's practically indestructible. You can't tear it. You could poke a hole in it if you use an ice pick. Other than that, you can take it back to the white paper after you've applied paint and don't want to keep it on there anymore. The um, brush, um, I usually use a larger brush. There are even bigger ones, but this seems to be my favorite right now. And it came from an Ace Hardware. Don't ask me why it works better than anything else. These are the types of watercolors that I use. They just regular watercolors that come in tubes and then I put them out on the palette in um, the traditional way of the cool colors and the warm colors. And then I have, uh, keep, I keep them damp so that I can get into them easily with a brush and take nice big gobs of paint and just put it on the paper. So I've got some blue and some red on here right now. A little bit of water and I use large, strong application of the first uh, uh, touching the paper. Put it on kind of like wallpaper and I try to get as much of the paper covered thinking all the time about what general shapes I might want to be dealing with. Do I want it to be floral, landscape? Do I want it to be very non-objective? That's a lot of blue and red so let's try a little bit of Green here is a contrast. Um, leaf shapes. Keep the brush loose. Push the paint around. And you can even, if you enjoy surprises, you can hold the paper up, let the paint run, and surprise yourself even more. Once you get the paint on the way you want it, it takes a little while for it to totally dry and um, at that point during the drying process you can step back, see if you see something happening that you would like to uh, enhance or if there's some area that you don't like and you wish it weren't there, you can just take your brush, run it through that area a damp paper towel. I use a lot of paper towels and you just want the cheapest kind and just scrub it off. Now you have another white space in which to work. You can use uh, negative shapes this way. The background here would be a negative shape. This might be a positive shape here that could be like a fan. Apply that. If you want to cut out a part of it, just wipe it out. Now you have a fan shape. 
with a background of these blues and pinks. Um, there's no end to the possibilities. You can stamp um, on this paper, uh, provide many enrichments of the surface, and that's what the fun of this is. So I hope you've enjoyed this, that it gives you some opening into other possibilities if you're interested in um, painting and expressing yourself in the graphic arts. Okay, so you look at this paper and you can see that we've uh, gotten something down, but I've decided I have to go and um, accomplish something in the kitchen, and I can't finish this now. So I'm just going to go back to the white paper so that when I do know that I'm going to have plenty of time, I can come in, start fresh, and not waste a bit of this uh, lovely surface. You are losing your paint, but um, it's not a big deal. And just enjoy yourself. Keep wiping until you get it just where you want it. Back to the white. And that's how it's done. Well, we've uh, finished up this little demonstration and I've told you something about what we're doing here at um, the Bragg, which is the Bay Rivers Art Guild in Daphne, Alabama. Uh, it's been a pleasure to spend some time with you. I hope that if you're in the area, you'll come by and say hello to us and maybe you'll stop in and take a class. And uh, I want to thank eCountry Lifestyle for making this possible. I appreciate you coming and um, have a great day.